Welcome back to JP's Budget Collecting and our weekly look back at the CBSI Hot Top 10 from six months ago. Today we're looking back at the Hot Top 10 from June 14th, 2019, and I'm recording this on Friday, uh, December 13th, 2019, so Friday the 13th. Um, as always, this list is really just about looking at the books that were hot six months ago, trying to understand what made them hot, trying to understand whether or not they stayed and what were the factors that made them fall back or continue to grow um, so that we all make better decisions um, when we're chasing books uh, and about whether or not to chase hot books or patience. And usually it's patience, but let's get into the list and we'll see what we find this week. Uh, first up at number 10 is Omega Man number three. And this is the first appearance of Lobo. Uh, and this book hit the list completely driven by the fact that Lobo was coming to that Krypton TV series. And there was rumors that they were going to use that to roll into and create a Lobo series. Um, that didn't happen. But back then, uh, a 9.8 jump from basically, oh, $150 to $200 to 225 to 250 So not a huge jump, but definitely a jump. Um, now, 9.8s are going really, really consistently over the last month for 160 to 175 um, raw copies can be had for between $20 and $50, depending on condition. And really, that's right where the asking prices are. So, uh, still a solid book. Just cooled off a little bit from that initial jump when the Lobo series didn't happen. Uh, at number nine on our list is Fit Betty and Veronica, number 261. And this is the first appearance of Vampironica. <laughs> um, and just... A really, really, I guess, hard to find or super popular book. Um, this one's going for, um, back then it jumped up from basically going for 175 to 200 raw to 350 raw. Um, and basically, just a, not many of them out there, not many of them listed. Um, we've only had four sales since the beginning of October. Uh, a raw copy went for 200. Um, a 9.8 went for 675. So 200 is considerably back down from that 350. But um, and then two 9.6s have sold, one for 320 and one for 280. So those are the only sales since the 1st of October of this on eBay. Currently, asking prices for raw start around 200 and go up from there. So again, it's come back from that 300, whatever caused it to jump, but still a very popular book. Um, 9.6s are starting around 400, uh, at least in terms of listings, although they haven't been going for that. Like I said, they went for around 300. And then the only current 9.8 listed on eBay, and they're asking $1,500 for. So there's a reason it's still sitting there, but um, just a very popular book. This was kind of a, these kind of horror takes on the Archie universe, this Vampironica, super popular. And this book is really, um, uh, Maintain pretty good value, even though it hasn't maintained that little spike or whatever caused it back in the spring. Um, and number eight on our list is Hungry Ghosts, number one. And this was driven by the fact that there were rumors of an animated TV series um, of this adapting this story. And basically, um, back then, the rumors of the animated show caused it to jump from basically a cover price book to a $15 to $20 book. Um... Don't know if that animated series is actually going to happen or not yet, but uh, now it's back down to a cover to $15 book. So it's still going for a little more than cover, but um, that $8 to $12 kind of range is really about where it's going for. Um, the only 9.8 sale since October went for $40 plus shipping. Um, currently, people are asking $5 to $15 for a raw copy. Um, the only, and 70 plus for 9.8, so a little higher for 9.8 than what it's went for recently. But no word yet if this book is going to, if this book's actually going to be turned into anything, but uh, that was what drove it to hit the list before. The number seven on the list is Venom, uh, volume four, number three, the first appearance of Null. Um, and this is just all the Donny Cakes. Uh, this was kind of in the, the hype for Absolute Carnage. Uh, Null was... Hitting the list again, a 9.8 .8 jump from basically $80 to 120 ish. Uh, Raws drop from 20 up to 40. And basically, that's kind of where the book is at right now. 
Um, Null continues to maintain pretty well. Hasn't really went up, um, but Raws are still going in at 35 to 50 range, with most of them going right around 40, um, which is where it was at six months ago. 9.8s are going for about 100, so back slightly, but still in that same kind of range. Um, asking prices for these books are 40 plus for a raw and uh, 115 plus for 9.8 is what people are currently asking. But they've been going, like I said, for just slightly under that. Um, and with that, we'll move on to number six on the list. Uh, number six, we have Sonic the Hedgehog, number one. Um, and I'm not sure what the deal is with this book. Um, they were talking about basically... Um, that seems to be pretty hard to find, this version that I'm showing here with the Mean Machines little logo on it, um, and that it jumped from a 9.0 in the summer of 2018, went for 215, in January it went for 530, uh, January of 19, and then in June one went for 900. Uh, there's apparently multiple versions of this. The only version I could find was one that had... Um, it just said Sonic the Hedgehog 1991 Sega there instead of the Mean Machines thing. And those books were going for 45 to 50 and were basically the same cover. Um, except for that. So, don't know what the deal is with the Mean Machines one and why it's so hard to find. I couldn't find any listed with that. I couldn't find any sales of that in the last three months. Um... So, not sure. Don't know a lot about the Sonic books, but I think it's just kind of a hard-to-find Sonic variant and um, or printing and goes for a lot of money when it does show up. So, um, with that, let's move on to number five on the list, uh, Sensational She-Hulk, number 40. Uh, and this is just a famous She-Hulk cover and story. Um, this is obviously the jump rope issue and uh, where they kind of poke fun at a lot of stuff. And she's behind, hiding behind the comic code. Um, back then, a 9.6 went for a record of $200 back in June. Uh, and I think this had everything to do with, at the time, the rumors related to her coming to the MCU eventually. So everything kind of She-Hulk was kind of heating up back in the spring, uh, early summer. Uh, Raw books were hitting 65 to 70. Um, since then, we've gotten the announcement of the She-Hulk show. We haven't got a casting yet. Um, we're a couple months away from that anna official announcement. So the book has cooled a little bit, not a ton. Um, now Raws are going for 50 to 60 instead of that 60 to 70. So just, you know, just a slight drop. Uh, 9.8s are going for the 170 to 230 range. So where that 9.6 hit a record, that's really where 9.8s are going uh, and that around 200. Uh, currently, asking prices on eBay for raw copies are around 60, 60 plus, 9.8s. Uh, currently, there was one listed for 215. All the rest were listed for 250 plus. So, uh, this book is setting pretty much where it was at. Uh, and again, probably going to get hot again a little bit once we get a casting for She-Hulk as everything She-Hulk gets hot again. Uh, with that, let's move on to number four on the list, and that is Batman Mask of the Phantasm, the movie, adap movie adaptation. And this is Phantasm's actual first appearance in uh, comics, in a comic form, although it is a movie adaptation. Um, so, and this is all about the fact that Tom King was going to bring Phantasm to the actual DC universe. Um or in, into the main DC continuity. Um, and this book jumped from basically a cover price book to a $15 book. Um, even though this appears first, there's, we'll get into the, that a little bit um, on whether or not it's the the book that people actually want from Phantasm. Um, it is the first time that she, the character appears, but it is also a movie adaptation, so a lot of people don't really consider that. I don't know why, they just don't. So it did jump up to fifteen dollars, and it's still kind of going for that cover to ten dollar or ten to fifteen dollar range. Uh, most recent nine point eight uh, went for ninety two, uh, but that was clear back in October. Uh, asking price on this book is five to fifteen. Uh, there's only the asking price on a nine point eight is one hundred and eighty, um, but there's no recent sales. It's just not really commanding that kind of price. It's a cool book, but 
the market has decided, even though that's the first time the character appears in comic form, that they are interested in number three on the list, and that is Batman and Robin Adventures Annual Number One. Um, this is the first appearance of Phantasm, uh, not counting the movie adaptation, and it's clear that we've picked it because back then it was going for $65 plus um, in it. But it has also slowed down quite a bit as well. It's still going for like 10 to 20. Um, but some occasionally are going for 50. And it doesn't really seem to be consistently based on uh, condition. And actually, some of it's auction, some of it's just buy it now prices. Um, but only slab sale of this book period in 2019 on GoCollect was a 9.6. It went for 70. Um, and the asking prices on this vary, like I said, from 15 to $50. And occasionally people are paying the high end because I guess they're not looking. Um, and But for the most part, it's down in that $15, $20 range. Uh, the only 9.8 currently listed is a sign by Five, a five, with five signatures, a uh, yellow label with five signatures, including Mark Hamill, Kevin Conroy, uh, the actors that play uh, Robin. Um, I forget, there's two other signatures. I forget what they are now. I didn't write them down. Uh, sort of, and they're asking $2,000 for that particular 9.8. So um, not really one to evaluate, but that's the only 9.8 currently listed. Um, this does seem to be the book that at least the first time when Phantasm got hot, that the public jumped on as opposed to the movie adaptation. Uh, both cool books. And with that, let's move on to number two on the list. And it is Die Number One. Um, and this was just a hot title at the time. There were lots of rumors about a game coming. There was lots of rumors about it being uh, options. Um, so back then, raw copies were going for $35 to $40. Uh, 9.8s were going for $150. Uh, now, the, I think the book, there is probably, there is a game coming, I believe, and we know it's been optioned. Um, the second story arc just wrapped up. Uh, it's going to go on hiatus for a little while, but uh, raw copies now will cost you 15 to 25 with a 9.8 costing you 70 to 100. So this book has taken, has cooled off from that initial kind of hype with Die, kind of following the end of the first story arc and all the rumors that it was going to be optioned and everything else. Um, still a cool story for, at least for me, I've really enjoyed it, but, um, uh, definitely cooled off. So if you haven't picked up your first cop, uh, your copy of Die, number one, and you're looking for one, that might be a good time to track it down before something causes it to get hot again. Um, and number one on the list is Oblivion Song, number one, uh, the pink signature, I don't know if it's a variant or error or what, how they really consider this one, but the one with the pink signatures, um, and this one hit the list because Kirkman was making claims that a movie was coming. Um, based on what I could find, I don't know that there's ever been official uh, confirmation of that other than his statement. And it caused the book to jump from a cover price book to a $25 book. Um, since then, it's now a five to $10 book for the pink version. Um, the regular version is like cover price again, uh, 9.8s go for 50 to $80. Um, Asking price on this one is eight to twenty dollars for a raw copy, and sixty to eighty for a nine point eight slab. So that is this week's list. Um, you know, we had a little bit of option news kind of thing going on with Oblivion Song and Phantasm and Hungry Ghosts. Um, those have all kind of cooled significantly after that news. Die even a little bit hasn't cooled as much. So a lot of option news, well, option news for Oblivion Song, Die, and Hungry Ghosts. We had the introduction, the potential introduction of a character for the two Phantasm books. Um, She-Hulk, just more kind of spec on the MCU, caused that book to hit the list. I'll be honest, I have no idea what was going on with that Sonic book. Um, so not, I'll be honest, not a lot here that I think has a lot of long-term sustainable value. I think the She-Hulk book's a solid book if you're a She-Hulk fan to add to your collection. I think the Venom number three, if you really enjoy Null and you really enjoy kind of the symbiotes, it's a solid book if you can track one down. Same with kind of Phantasm and you're a fan of that movie. Um, Omega Man Lobo is going to be what it's going to be, but um, 
There's also some books on here that eh, I don't know too much about, that Oblivion Song, the Sonic the Hedgehog thing was just kind of odd. So with that, was this week's list. Um, I want to thank you guys for watching, and we'll catch you next time.